You've reached the voicemail of Dwight Kurt Schrute. Please leave. I have no feeling in my fingers or penis, but I think it was worth it. Oh. Ah! Um, I was laying on the ground, defenseless, and uh, he just kept throwing him until he exhausted himself. And uh, then, how about icing it? LOL, Dwight. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. No, why, why did you bring that here? Don't worry, she's dead. Oh, wait. He's dead. Why, what? I accidentally ran over it. It's a Christmas miracle. Well, get it out of here. Relax, OK? And because this is Christmas, I am going to roast this goose and prepare it with a wild rice dressing. Do we have any cayenne pepper in the kitchen? Merry Christmas, Dwight. Jim. Wow. What do we got here? What does it look like? Dead goose. And circle gets the square. All right. So can you watch this? I'm going to get my carving knife out of the trunk. All uh, right, we talked about this. No, Toby, this is different. He's already dead. Once I brought in a duck to prepare for lunch, and people got upset. Apparently, they got attached to the duck and didn't want to see it killed. He was already dead, and we shroots use every part of the goose. The meat has a delicious, smoky, rich flavor. Plus, you can use the molten goose grease and save it in the refrigerator, thus saving you a trip to the store for a can of expensive goose grease. Wow, win-win. Exactly, thank you, Jim. I like goose. It's already dead. Is it so crazy if we eat it? That is crazy. It's crazy. No. Mm. you cannot keep that here. OK, that is ridiculous and totally against the spirit of Christmas. Come on, Dwight. We went over this, like, for half an hour. It's a dead animal in an office. You can't. Toby. I'm oh, sorry. <sighs> please. Please. Clean it in your car. I would like it off my desk. Oh, Pam. Take a chill pill. Go! Get the door! Go! Push! Oh, God. Push! No, no, no! Turn really around! Turn around! around. You break it! Shove it! Break it! You shove it! Shove it back! Here we go. Don't break Ooh. the branches, Dwight. Oh. Ah, I got a splinter. Well, suck it up. We all have problems. Hey, everybody. Look what we have. <laughs> nice, huh? I've got it leveraged. On Push. three. Ready? Straight one, up. One. One, two, two three. three. Ah. Oh. Merry Christmas! Did it work? Well, sort of. Oh, so this is what every day would be like if you hadn't left India. Oh, burning! Oh, 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 Angela drafted me into the party planning committee. Her memo said that we need to prepare for every possible disaster, which to me seems excessive. No, no way. It, no. Come on, Mike, let just, me borrow a hat for just a couple hours. You want to be Santa? Yeah. Have you ever seen Santa? Yeah, I've seen Santa. Okay. Who cares? Well, I'm sorry, it just doesn't work. Michael, I would like to be the elf. That makes sense, because he has elfish features. Deck the halls with boughs of holly. Fa la 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 la. Hey, I would like a nice slice of Christmas Pam. Cider candy pears. And perhaps some 
Pam chops. Can I help you, With Michael? mint. Got it. Oh. Yeah. Okay, let's go in. I'm freezing. People, wait, wait, wait. Come back, come back. One fun one. We're going to do a fun one. Yeah. Okay. One Charlie's Angels. One. Let's go. Okay. This is just a Christmas card from your paper supplier. No one's putting this on their fridge. Oh, I got it. You guys, how about this? Michael, what if all the boys are on one side, all the girls are on the other? The boys are like, why yada, yada. And the girls are like, let's go shopping. Let's just jump in the air. That's oh, it. Yeah. That's a picture. Yes. Jump in the air. We're going to jump in the air. Here we go. Okay. okay. One, two, three. Not everyone jumped. OK, everybody jump in the air this time, please. Here we go. One, two, three. Still some people not jumping. You gotta be kidding me. Who isn't jumping? Okay. I'll tell you who. Guys. Daryl, Phyllis, Stanley, Angela, and Oscar. I am jumping. You I'm are? Jump yes, Let I'm me see jumping. you jump. Oh my god. Yeah. This is a store-bought camera. This isn't one of those special military-grade cameras that would be able to capture that. I'm freezing. Um, also, Erin is jumping way too early. She's on the ground by three. I don't want to miss it. Well, if, if, if we all jump really high, we'll be in the air longer. Okay, here's a question nobody's asking. Is this worth it? Don't answer that. Hey, people, listen up and listen good. We need to just get one picture where we're all in the air at the same time. Why? Yes? I believe in us. We can do this. Okay, I have three. Uh, everyone in the air. Three, two, what? one, zero. Just okay. you, safe jump. Safe jump. Safe jump. We didn't get it. Stanley, no, I'm going to handle the cord. Okay, safety reasons. I know how to plug something in. I want to do it. All right. Let's count it down, like Rockefeller Center. Ready? Three, two, two one. Yay! Presents are the best way to show someone how much you care. It is like this tangible thing that you can point to and say, hey man, I love you this many dollars worth. Oh, 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 oh. It hurts. I know. It hurts my heart. It hurts my stomach. It hurts my arms. Okay, well, uh, why are you laying like that? Thanks. How did you push away the bad thoughts? Like what? Like maybe the real reason they left was because there were things they wanted you to do in bed that were what? Um, foreign and scary. I, I don't And not that really you didn't want to try them. Just, Some don't. wine might have helped. Do you know what I'm referring to? Oh, well, Oscar, you little gourmand, you have the next turn. I'll take the teapot. Damn it. OK, moving along. Meredith, let's go. I really want the iPod. OK, OK, OK. It's already been stolen this round. Pick something else. I hope nobody takes this baby, because this is great. Wow, look at that fine craftsmanship. Um, and you really put a lot of work into that. It's beautiful. I'll take the oven mitt. Sucker! <laughs> See, I wanted somebody to take it. Boom. Reverse psychology. Reverse psychology is an awesome tool. I don't know if you guys know about it, but basically, you make someone think the opposite of what you believe, and that tricks them into doing something stupid. Works like a charm. Like everybody's attention, Christmas is canceled. You can't cancel a holiday. Give it up, Stanley, and you will lose New Year's. What does that mean? Jim, take New Year's away from Stanley. Michael. for every single person in the office. You never know when you're going to need to bear a passing resemblance to someone. I just want it to stop. Oh, Jim, hey. Hey, Toby. There's this female uh, a stenographer at the courthouse. No way. That looks exactly like you. That's incredible. Yeah, no, it's on camera. You know what's crazy? What? I can't reconnect with you right now. Hold on one second. Oh! oh. Excuse me.
And it comes to 166.41. All uh, right, now you're the expert. Is this enough to get 20 people plastered? 15 bottles of vodka? Yeah, I should do it. Cool, cool, box it up. Phyllis, I need you to pick up green streamers at lunch. I thought you said green was whorish. No, orange is whorish. And I'm here to remind you of the mess you left when you went away. It's not fair to deny me of the cross I bear that you give to me. You, 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 you ought to know. Poor Richards? Yep. Cool, cool, cool. You need a ride? <sighs> All right, let's head out. Sounds good. Do you have a coat? Yeah. Oh, okay. What is that? The committee to plan parties invites you to a margarita karaoke Christmas. There's no such thing as the committee to plan parties. There is now. We just started it. Well, you can't just start a committee. You have to have funding. Well, what's your funding? $200. What's ours again? Um, $201. Right. Hey, a margarita karaoke Christmas party. That sounds like fun. No, that is not a party. There's only one party, and it's hosted by the party planning committee, and it starts at 3 o'clock. Then why are there two flyers? Oh, I, I understand that this is confusing for everyone. Let me explain. There's a party that starts at 3. Right. And then there's a way more fun party that starts at 2.45. Right. And if you're interested in the way more fun party, all the info can be found here on our more brightly colored flyer. <laughs> I didn't see where it was. Take a bowl of pass it down. Thank you, Dwight. These are nice. No, these are gift bowls. When you receive a gift, it will go in the bowl, but the bowls must be returned at the end. They're a set. Now, hold your bowls forward. The bell schnickel will decide if you are impish or admirable. Oh, it's like naughty or nice. No, impish or admirable. Quick question. Do you just decide who gets what in the moment, or did you make a list? I decided earlier. Oh, nice. Did you check that list? Of course I checked it. But more than once, because you could have made a mistake. I checked it more than once. Okay, so you made a list, you checked it twice, and now you're going to find out who's... Impish or admirable. Damn. Phyllis fans! Cheer or fear? Bell Nickel is here. I judge your year as... admirable. There you are. Hmm, what are these? It's a set of rubber gaskets for canning jars. I'd rather have the bowl. You can't have the bowl! Oscar Martinez. Cheer or fear? Bell's nickel is here. I judge your year. It's impish. Ow! You hit people with that thing? No, I'm carrying around the stick in order to look cool. For the kinder. Ooh. Mouse trap. In a head-to-head -head contest, people prefer Bell's nickel over Santa every time. There aren't as many songs about him, but I attribute that more to rhyming difficulties. My brother and I wrote one once. It was about a fickle pickle salesman who would tickle you for a nickel. <laughs> oh, you know what? I gotta go. Stop giggling. Oh, really? Already? Yeah. It's Sorry. a punishment. Hey, where are you going? I have to go to Philly, but this was amazing. Okay? But you work tomorrow. Yeah, I know. I just like to settle in and get a good night's sleep. But we were gonna break the pig rib. Oh. Remember? That's right. No matter. Belschnickel cares not about this. Off with you. Perfect. Merry Christmas, everybody. Wait, 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 wait. Don't you want to know your present? You know what? Yeah, how about it? Jim Halpert, cheer or fear? <laughs> Bell Schnickel is here. I judge your year as impish. Oh! Are you nuts? I judge your impish! Ow, ow! Okay, that is three, and you didn't hit anybody that hard. They're not abandoning the party. Well, just, hey! Don't. All right! Hey, oh, that's oh. enough, I'm done, okay? Oh. Impish! Ah. Ah. Bell Schnickel, I gotta run out early, too. Oh, what is this? <laughs> that is my Christmas card. 
<laughs> it's a picture of you and me and your kids on a ski trip, having a blast. Skis and greetings. No, see, we never went on a ski trip. I know, I know. I went on a ski trip. Right. Two years ago with my kids and my ex-husband. Yes, but what you didn't realize at the time was that I was with you, in a sense. I was in your heart Michael, and next to your kids. What? This is so weird. Hey, Dwight. Pretty nice rubs there. Why? What is this? Happy holidays, Dwight. But do not open it till Christmas. You're so pathetic. How long did this take you? Three hours? Five minutes, actually. I am a black belt in gift wrapping. Yeah, no such thing. They don't give out black belts for things that are stupid. <laughs> well, I hope it was worth it, because I'm going to take it apart in about five minutes. I think it'll take you a little bit longer than that. Really? If I can skin a mule deer in less than ten minutes, I ought to be able to cut my... <laughs> Probably. Okay, now open your eyes and describe it to me. I don't know. It has four bedrooms and the loft. Oh my god, now she's up? Yeah. And she's trying to describe how to correctly butcher a goose, but she's having trouble coming up with it. Okay, Cindy, go. Cindy, Cindy. Hold its neck back, insert the knife beneath the jaw, bring it all the way around. There's gonna be a good amount of blood. Don't let that bother you. Have a bucket there for the blood and the, the innards and the feathers. Enough of this garbage. This is Christmas. Is how it's done. Hey, sorry, I'm ready. I don't wanna go. Oh, come on, bear man. Come on. Have you ever seen them do that? Okay, this is it. What? Go. What? What is this? What? Go, go. This? Oh my god! Honey! Jim! Jim! In the end, the greatest snowball isn't a snowball at all, it's fear. 
Merry Christmas.